So before we jump into this week's tutorial, I thought I'd give you a little hack on how I light this scene right here. So what you do is you take a sports drink of your choice, whatever color that you want to light. You take a light, so let's turn on the cell phone light here. You put it underneath and then you just place it wherever you want and the color from the sports drink actually like lights up the walls and then you can just like light different scenes like that. I'm, I'm just joking, that's not how we do it at all. This is totally lit by professional lights, but I had you for a second. There's one guy running to his fridge right now and he's like listening back and he's like, oh, Chris got me. What's going on guys? My name is Chris Howe and if this is your first time to this channel, today we're talking all about cool photography techniques and I'm featuring one of my good friends. His name is Luke and Coots. And if you've ever wondered how to get those super glowy, atmospheric, what's the other word? <laughs> <laughs> Surreal or dreamlike photos. Well, today Lucan is going to teach you. Now, before I introduce him real quick, here are a few examples of his amazing work. This guy is a master digital artist. So links are below if you wanna go check him out. But I thought I'd share a really quick story with you. It was about a year ago that Lucan went viral online for this photo right here. Right, you guys can all pick up your jaws off the floor too. That is just like the best photo of all time. Really cool story about that is that it actually made the front page of Reddit and that's where he got a big majority of his following on Instagram because of this unique style that he has, this, this glow, which he's gonna teach you guys all about here. But additionally, it was also tweeted out by Casey Neistat and Unbox Therapy. So without further ado, let's introduce Luke and Coots to the Chris Howe channel. This guy right here. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna Thanks. go chill right now because it's all on you. You're not gonna join me? <laughs> no, I'm, gonna, alone here? I'm just gonna go have some sports drink. <laughs> So today I'm really excited to be sharing two of my favorite post-processing techniques with you. Both techniques which I used on that photo. One is able to manipulate the light in your image and the other is to manipulate the color. And these are two of my favorites. I use them in every image, almost without any exceptions. And the really cool thing about this is that when these two techniques are combined, the results can be really insane because these work phenomenally well together. The first one's called the Orton effect and it's a landscape technique that a lot of uh, photographers use and this is something that gives a very dreamlike feel to your image. You're gonna find out that the words surreal and dreamlike are two of my favorite words. The second technique is something that I usually do in Lightroom. You can do it in Camera Raw as well. Have you ever struggled with the hue and saturation sliders? You're moving that slider back and forth trying to find that right balance but the colors just don't behave the way you want them to? This is a trick that I use in order to really nail in uh, exactly what I want and it's really cool. And honestly, I'll just have to show you how to do it uh, for you to understand how truly powerful this really is. All right, let's apply the Orton effect to this image here. This was taken during sunset, something called Toronto Henge, which is when the sun lines up perfectly down the grid of Toronto, and it's really cool. So I've got a lot of warm light in this image, and what I wanna do is envelop these silhouettes in that light to make them kind of glow. So here's how we do that. We're gonna go to our layers panel, and we're gonna click this lock right here to unlock the layer. Click and drag it all the way down here to the new layer button, and that's gonna duplicate the layer. So with that done, we're gonna go into image at the very top. We're gonna click on image, and we're gonna find apply image. And you wanna make sure that your screen looks just like this right here. We wanna make sure particularly that our blending mode is set to multiply. And click OK. And you might think that that ruined the image, but we're gonna go into the blend mode here, click on normal and find screen mode. So you can see with the before and after, it just made the image a lot brighter and it kind of blew out the highlights, but this is how we make it glow. So with the blend mode set to screen, go up into the toolbar, click on filter, go into blur category and then click on Gaussian blur. Now the rule of thumb for this, you have a radius of one pixel for every megapixel on your camera. There's no rules to this, you can have fun with it. For this image, I have a 24 megapixel sensor, so I should be putting it at 24, but have fun with it, you know? I like to push it up 100, 150 sometimes. So just kind of drag that back and forth till you find a balance that you like. Honestly, I'm liking 24 for this one, so I'm gonna stick with that rule and click on OK. So with the before and after, you can see that it's already starting to look quite a bit, and this is really cool. Uh, what I want to do right now, though, is I want to separate the silhouettes in more of the foreground with the, with the silhouettes in the background. I want to separate these. So down here, let's click on your layer mask and let's paint away these silhouettes to bring them back to normal. So we're just erasing the effect, essentially. So the black brush, I'm just going to run it along these silhouettes real quick and just kind of paint away. And with that, you can already see how the uh, separation is going to occur and it's it looks pretty cool to me, so I'm gonna stick with that. And again, paint away any other silhouettes that you think deserve it. 
Now for consistency, I want the glow to occur in the background, but it's occurring in the foreground right here. And I've already erased the glow from this kind of plane. So everything from this plane backwards should not really have a glow. So I'm just gonna paint that away as well with my black brush. Check it before and after here. I think it looks really cool so far. So let's save that and let's bring that into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you how to colorize this. Okay, looking at this in Lightroom now, I think the glow is a little bit strong. So I'm gonna go back into Photoshop and take that down just a little bit. So what I did was that I just reduced the fill by 50%. You can do opacity as well, I believe. I'm not sure it matters too much. And all that did was just kind of make it 50% of the strength. So it's just not as overwhelming as it was before. So let's save that and go back into Lightroom. All right, with this feature, I'm gonna click on a this works with pretty much any local adjustment you can make, being the adjustment brush, um, the radio filter, the, what is this called? The gradient filter. What we're gonna be working with is this right down here, color. I've got a radio filter. I'm gonna click and drag and bring that right over the center of my image where the light is coming from. I'm gonna make sure that my mask is inverted and I wanna feather it off to 100% so that it kind of blends together a lot more smoothly. So click on this panel right here and you're gonna notice all these colors pop up. What this does is if you click and drag, you can see that it's gonna colorize what I've selected. And it allows for a lot of creativity here, but with sunsets, you can't really have anything other than like red or orange. So I'm gonna find a nice red that I like right about there. I like that a lot. And I wanna separate these silhouettes again from the background because they're not really standing out too much to me. So I'm gonna create another radial mask, click and drag that along the background here. And I'm gonna raise my exposure by a little bit. Again, make sure that your mask is inverted because I did not. So let's raise that by one stop. I'm gonna go into brush right up here and I'm gonna paint away the effect on the silhouettes just to make them pop from the background a lot more. So let's zoom in, click on brush, find erase down here and just paint away. That looks really cool. Let's click on edit one more time and then we're going to, I wanna colorize this even more. I wanna see what it looks like if I really flood this with a lot of red or orange. I wanna see what that looks like. So let's click on that panel and then let's find that same kind of color. I think a hue of 22 looks pretty good. And there you go, there's before and there's the after. Okay, so here's a portrait that I shot under neon light and this is where I think the effect looks really cool as well is making that neon really low because that's what neon is supposed to do. It's supposed to be in your face and overwhelming and bright and colorful. So let's do the exact same thing we just did. I'm gonna use a much larger radius than I did before because I really want these highlights to bloom. Now the sign looks really good, but it's bleeding out onto my model and I don't want that. So let's create a layer mask, paint that out real quick. So let's save that, bring that in the Lightroom. And it's at this stage where I really wanna bring out the color on the neon sign, uh, as well as on my model here. There's the image before, and there's the image after. So there you have it. Those are two of my favorite techniques that I use in editing. And I really hope that you're able to learn something from this video. If you use this technique, I would love to see what you guys create with this. So feel free to tag me and Chris at Luke and Coots at the Chris Howe. Uh, and if you've got any questions, I try to be very responsive on social media. So feel free to send me a message and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. All right guys, that is the end of the video. Big shout out to Luke and Coots. If you guys wanna go follow him and go and check out those amazing digital pieces of art, Links are below. He's amazing, he's a good friend of mine. I've been trying to figure out how to do the atmospheric, glowy, surreal photos for so long and he just came in and showed me one time. He's like, oh, you just do it like this. Doom, 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 doom. And I was like, oh, 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 that's that's how you do it. It's definitely not just dragging the dehaze filter all the way down and hoping for the best. Uh, anyways, guys, if you saw some value in this video, please press like, it actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Um, this just came in the mail right now, so I'm gonna go Looking at a bunch of gear that I cannot afford, so uh, peace out everybody.